What is up everyone? My name is Roy. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this week's video. Today we are doing an unboxing, review, and on-foot styling for the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the black colorway. I've been very excited about the shoe since it was announced earlier this year. It was first released in June. It was actually released on my birthday, so I thought by some grace of God, the Yeezy gods would bless me and allow me to purchase the sneaker when it was first released. So I remember uh, that day, it, like I said, it was my birthday, so I was online on my phone, on my computer, on my iPad, and there was just way, uh, there was just way too many people trying to get the shoe and I was not able to get it. So I thought, well, maybe I'll get it and resell. The resale price on these at the time was about $475 to $500, and I just thought that was way too much money for this shoe. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait. This was a very popular shoe, so they're probably gonna re-release it at some point in the future, and thank God they did. They re-released it on Black Friday. So again, I logged into my phone, I logged in on my computer, I logged in on my iPad, and I thought by some chance that I would get a pair directly from Yeezy. And ding, I was able to get a pair on my iPhone, it went through. Um, I was able to get my exact size before they sold out. And so yes, I was very excited. So in today's video, we are gonna be looking again at the black Yeezy 350 V2s and here they are. So you got Boost on the side. You got the model 350 there. Um, looking at the label, so we can quickly talk about sizing. So I am a perfect size 10 in Nike. With the 350s though, a lot of people go up half a size. I actually find that I have to go up a full size in order to be comfortable in the shoe. So I'm a Nike size 10. In the 350 V2s, I have to get an 11. So I have like four other pairs of the 350 V2s. They're all 11s and they all fit me exactly right. I was a little bit scared that maybe they would loosen up over time. That hasn't been the case. They haven't really loosened up. So even to this day, ones I've had for a year or two, um, they still fit me very nicely. So my personal recommendation, if you have an average to wider foot, is to definitely go up maybe a full size and not just a half size. If you like a tighter fit, then go a half size. All right, we're gonna get into this. So I have not opened this yet. I was waiting again for the actual unboxing to do a, a video like this, so. Here they are. Obviously I've seen them, you know, out on the street, other people wearing them, so they, I know what they look like, but I've never been this close to them. So here they are. These are, these are really nice looking. I really like this shoe because it is all black. So you have you know, the black upper, the black mid, the black outer. It is just a very clean, black, stealthy kind of shoe. Like this is, I find that in the 350s, the neutral colors, I think personally work the best in the 350. I don't particularly like the really super bright, loud, sort of obnoxious colorways of this. So that's probably why this has been so popular because black is, Black is the, the neutral color, so everybody obviously wants these because you can wear them with everything. They will go with everything. And yeah, I, I just find that the, the neutral colors in this shoe are easier to wear. But yeah, it is a very clean, like I said, it's, it's I want to describe it as stealthy. Like this is a stealthy, clean shoe. So getting into the materials, you have the black prime knit sock upper just like any other 350. You have the pull tab on the back with just this kind of red stitching detail through it. That's really the only color on the shoe is that red stitching on that heel pull. Again, this is a this is originally called a triple black, but they're just calling it black now, but it was originally triple black because you had the black upper, you had the black midsole, and then you had the black outer sole on the bottom. I'm really glad that they did it this way. I'm sure in the future, 
you will probably see a version of the shoe where the maybe the outer sole is a gum or something like that and they will sell that as a completely different shoe and they will probably sell a ton of those in this case though i like it triple black like this it's very sleek and uh i, th I just think it's a smart looking shoe you also have uh, which is kind of typical of the latest V2s. You have the translucent stripe on the side here. So it's not translucent enough that you are really going to be able to see your sock through it. Like some of them are actually really clear and you can actually change the color of the stripe depending on the sock that you wear. In this case, no. It's not translucent enough to actually see anything through it. But still, it's a nice detail. I really like the pattern on this because... It is black, but they've actually woven in some more of like a charcoal kind of tone through it. And I just think that makes the upper a little bit more dynamic. If it was just all black, it would be very kind of flat looking and maybe a little bit uninteresting. So what they've done is they've just woven, like I said, that black or charcoal through the prime knit. And it does like, it does make the shoe a little bit more interesting to look at so i'm glad they did that and of course contained in the midsole is the boost so you can see it through this the the midsole is actually it's a little bit translucent so you can actually see i'm not sure if it shows on camera but you can actually see the boost through the midsole which is it's, it's very subtle but you can definitely see it I don't dislike that. If it was a more opaque black, maybe I would like it better, but I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me. One other thing to point out with these, um, in addition to the fact that you have the black and the charcoal in the upper to give it a little bit of contrast, is you also have 3M woven into the laces. So again, you, can't, you won't really see this here, but if the room was dark and you had a light on these, the laces do actually have a little bit of reflectiveness to them. These are just the regular non-reflective uh, 350s. Um, they do make a reflective version of this, which I, I never really like the reflective versions. Again, I like things a little bit more basic and plain and neutral, but it is a nice touch that the laces in these do have that 3M in it. And I think at night it will just give a little bit of pop, a little bit of interest to the shoe when you are out and about in town. All right, so we've talked about the materials, we talked about the design. Again, they're just like any other V2s. We've talked about the sizing. I've mentioned that since they're all black, they're gonna go with everything and they literally will go with anything. They will go with any color. I'm gonna put these on uh, and show you a couple of different ways that I'm going to wear them, but I don't, I really don't know how you could wear these wrong. Like, I, I think you could literally wear these with a suit and you could figure out a way to make them work. So I'm just super excited to add these to my closet. And I know that these are quickly gonna become probably my go-to shoe just because I don't have to think about them at all. I know I can just throw them on and they're gonna look good with whatever I'm wearing. But let's go ahead and let's throw these on and let's show you how to wear them.